Howdy. Ooh, birds. Hey, so a lot of you guys have asked about, I've done a ton of videos on pressure washing concrete and driveways and pools and fences, but a lot of you guys are asking about actual decks. So you have a wood deck, it's kind of nasty, it's got green stuff, it's kind of old. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take you out to the farm property. We have a dock. The dock is old and it hasn't been cleaned in probably 10, 20 years. So I'm gonna pressure wash it, but I'm gonna do it with a surface cleaner. now. It's important when you use one of these surface cleaners that you actually get the right matchup of the pressure washer to the surface cleaner. So I'm gonna link to the right pressure washer and surface cleaner down below. You have to be gentle with this wood, especially if you start using the tip on it, you can actually striate the wood and actually do more damage. So this is a good way, if you have some older wood decking, it's nasty, this is a good way to clean it. Um, hit that subscribe button because let me give you an example every single person out there making videos says click subscribe but today we've got so much going on at that farm property today i actually uh, we finished redoing the barn the barn looks great i have a guy out there right now he's tilling the front fields we're actually getting ready to plant some stuff up there i've got a tree crew actually going the tree crew is actually taking out 75 trees around that property around the main house it's just incredible anyways let's go clean some wood morning so uh, a couple of people have asked about when they're cleaning wood decks or old wood what can i do when i'm pressure washing it i'm going to show you how not to destroy it just give you a little tip so hold on hey guys i gotta do this quick <laughs> because I've got 200 feet of hose running down to my from my um, my well up to the to the pond to the dock. This is an old dock it has a bunch of uh, mold on it couple it's just old wood. Now one of the problems is is when you use a normal tip on old wood you can blow out you can actually eat out some of that grain you can blow out pieces so i am going to use the surface cleaner on this for most part i'll link to everything i'm talking about below i'm using my favorite pressure washer i'll link to the pressure washer we've recommended it as our top pick for four years now the simpson and then the the, the head and extension and everything all right so here's the old dock got it you can see there was paint on it and it's all moldy. Now, one of my first tips here is we just came off of two days of rain and we've got five days of sun. The rain has stopped right now. My deck is still wet. This is the perfect time to actually do this. <laughs> perfect. So you can see I've got my pressure washer. I've got a rock here so that my pressure washer doesn't go in the pond. We will be staining this. You don't want to paint docks. You actually want to stain them. But you can see, you can start to see the difference here. So it was almost solid black and gray. And then you can see what it happens. Now, the beautiful thing about these surface cleaners is that they have two jets on them. They have two jets on them underneath. And what that does, that diffuses the water a little bit and softens it so it doesn't dig in so much. So if you have old wood and you start to pressure wash with a tip, i.e., let me grab one out of my pocket. I always keep this in my pocket. So this is what, a 40? So this is um, my green tip that I'm using to clean, but I also used it for the side rails too. Now these tips can dig into the wood and really do damage. So if you have old wood, make sure you match up the proper pressure washer to the proper cleaning head. And that's the only thing, this is the only thing we use on concrete. We never use tips on concrete. So let me just set this up and we'll go.
So that, now it's gonna dry out and it's gonna turn a light brown, but um, that's gotta be what, how old, do you say this is a 20 year old dock? Yeah, probably about 15, 20 year old dock that's never been cleaned, it was painted once. But uh, no chemicals, we're not using any chemicals, we're just using water in that surface cleaner. And then we'll come out and stain it with a water-based stain, but man, what a difference. I mean, just finished the end of that, and you can see the lighter board starting to dry out here. Man, it looks good. Yeehaw! All right, so we got a little quiet moment here. Let me let me show give you an example. So the sunroom is going to be right off this house. It's a big 16 by 30 sunroom. And the sunroom's gonna come all the way out here. It's gonna be all windows. That'll be your view. Isn't that great? So we've taken all these trees out of here, opened this up. Man, can you imagine that in the fall when all those trees are turning color? It's gonna look great. Morning. So tree guys are still here and they're cutting. I figured I'd show you the, uh, the finished dock. This is after a staining. We used a water-based stain on this we use the Olympic maximum which is what I like to use so we took it down to basically bare wood and then very carefully with a brush we brushed this on so we wouldn't get a lot in the uh, in the water man it really looks good got a uh, little bit of an algae bloom going on here so I'm gonna have to come out here and treat this let's see Let's take my disc and let's get a reading out here. <sighs> when I get below 12 inches, I get worried. You're supposed to worry. Well, let's get it down here and see here. It's not the top algae. And it's gone. I'm at 13 inches. 13 to 14 inches on the worst part. So, I don't have to do a major treatment, but I need to come out here and put a little bit of algae control out here. And I do have the aerators running, so they got lots of oxygen, I'm not that concerned. Hey guys, oh, some yard work going on across the street, birds in the background. So anyways, we pressure washed that with the Simpson and with the, uh, the surface cleaner. I'm gonna link to those two units down below. I have it up on the website under pressure washing as well as as well too. We didn't use any chemicals. We just used the water and the, it just did a wonderful job. I stained it with Olympic Maximum stain. Uh, that is a water-based stain and it works fantastic. Again, you don't want to paint docks. <laughs> you want to stain docks. The yard's looking great. The green, I'm getting ready to do my first cut on the putting green. If you don't have the lawn guides, get the lawn guides. The lawn guides are free. Click the QR code. The, the lawn guides are up. Now, if you have a cool season lawn, if you have a warm season Bermuda or Zoysia, we walk you through the entire year. We have videos, every subject, product links, and calendars. So make sure you get the lawn guides. Anyways, you don't want to miss them. The, the renovation on the property is actually stunning. I mean, it, it really is shocking what's going on out there. So you don't want to miss that. Hope this helped. Talk to you later. Doc.